financial accounting. Well, we're in the second chapter. What we're going to talk about is uh, how accounting is the language of business. But first, let's review what we learned in, in the previous chapter, which was the accounting equation. And you know that the accounting equation is assets equal liabilities plus stockholders' equity plus revenue minus expense. What we're going to talk about this chapter is how that accounting equation changes from the first of the year to the end of the year. And what happens in between and why it changes is there's something called transactions. Transactions says that you're exchanging one asset for another. You might be buying, you might be selling, and we need to be able to communicate that, thus the language of business. Now when you start the year, your accounting equation is just this, assets equal liabilities plus stockholders equity. And the reason is, is at the very beginning of the year, you haven't sold anything yet, and you haven't consumed anything yet. So it's just this much. Now, there is something that I find very helpful that helps me keep this all into my head. And it's something called REA. R stands for resources, E stands for events, and A stands for agents. In other words, in accounting, if I can identify the resources, the assets, that are changing, then I know a part of the transaction. Agents says who is doing the exchanging, who is involved in the transaction. And E is the, the event or the exchange or what we like to call sometimes the give and the get. So when we're looking at transactions during the year, we're, if I can identify what are the resources involved, who is involved, who are the agents, and what is the give-get or the event, then I'll have a much easier way um, to think about communicating what is happening. And so what we're going to be doing this chapter is looking at communicating these events, these give-gets between the agents who are exchanging their resources. Now, there's one thing you need to keep in mind. When we have an event, you have to think about, well, when should I uh, communicate the event? In other words, when do I write it in my diary? Dear diary, the following things happened to me today. Well, we have to think about when does that event have legal consequences for us. So, for example, if I sell something, is the sale recorded when I make the sale or when I receive the cash? Well, if I'm a cash basis uh, person or business, I will record that event when I receive the cash. Likewise, if I am a cash basis person and I buy something, I don't record it until I give the cash. So notice cash basis, when we look at those exchanges, is when the cash changes hands. That's the event. Now, that's great and that's good and that's what you and I use personally, but businesses don't. They use what we call accrual accounting. And accrual accounting says we recognize revenue when legal title passes. So if I make a sale in accrual accounting, we recognize that sale when the sale happens. Not So if somebody uses their credit card, the sale still has happened. We don't wait for the cash. Likewise, if I'm buying and I'm a cruel basis, I recognize the purchase when I what? Gave them my credit card, not when I wrote the check. So that's the difference between cash accounting and accrual accounting. And in this class, we're accrual based.